If all the heroes in the game had a one versus one, asks Toffee Pops, with only auto attacks, who would win? No abilities or traits, only AA from level one. Uh, I'm, there's probably a really easy answer to this. Let's see. Probably Rainer, to be honest. No. Wait. Uh, it should probably be a tank. Yeah, it should be a tank. I would say Muradin. No. Maybe Thrall. I don't know. No, not Thrall. Yeah, Thrall. No, not Thrall. Oh, you guys might be right. Could be Zul'jin, because he will automatically start hitting faster and harder. Rainer with Q build. No, no, no. He said no talents or abilities. Oh, actually, it could be Artanis. The shields. Yeah, it's Artanis or Zul'jin. And I would say probably Artanis. Okay, Blackheart's Bay, I'm second pick. Did Illidan feed intentionally last game? AFK at base about two minutes, typing. Victory for the Forsaken. A uh, Medivh game? Uh, I think Black Arts is one of Medivh's ah, worst death. maps. And there we go. Well, hoping to prove it to them. Uh, okay, what shall we get? Just do Johanna. The crusade calls. The crusade calls. My hatred is unending. We'll go purple Johanna. With. The purple fell saber. That should look pretty good. Uh, the reason I think black hearts is one of Medivh's worst maps. Is because one, he cannot wave clear well. It costs him a lot of mana, seven second cooldown on his Q, and even double Q doesn't remove the wave. So it takes him about 10 seconds to clear a wave and too much mana. Secondly, he cannot take Murkaps by himself. Uh, thirdly, he has a mount, which is slower than most mounts, although he can fly as the bird flies, so he can go over a lot of that water. But it means he rotates a little bit slow between top and bottom. And uh, people always get more camps because they drop the balloons. And yeah, he just doesn't deal well with them. At level 20, Medivh is great on this map. But until then, not so good. I serve. I stand ready. Rhaegar, Sonia, Illidan, Sylvanas, Johanna is a pretty hard engaged team. I might even get you know what. My blades are yours. I might just dive in together with Nikki here. Uh, question by Bros of Loudy is Medivh good in like a bottom lane four lane if you have a Zor go down double soaking top. Yeah. Yeah, he would be pretty good at that. He'll be pretty good at that. We're a little bit melee heavy. Yeah. Uh, four out of the five of our members, in fact, are melee. But we might go for failing sword here. That could be pretty fun. Mm, they will finally pick Karazim, I think. With Earth Ally. Oh. Yeah, not bad, I guess. Not bad, I guess. Sylvana solo bot? Really? That's unusual, isn't it?
Well, let's have at it. Uh, probably I'll be doing double soak in the top lane. I'm thinking about my build. There's a decent amount of healing with Rhaegar to go around. But mostly I'll be healing the others. I'm thinking if I should get Reinforce. Reinforce gets good value against Zero Tool and Vala. It's like block. Though I will rarely be the focus target. But sometimes I might be. The top healer now, the Tenno Mage, is Mouth. And I saw a question. What? I'm just going to interrupt my, my blah blah. Uh, someone said, what should I do to improve my drafting knowledge? The best thing to do is to watch competitive matches live and continue to make both predictions. Man, this looks freaking good together. Yeah, keep making predictions. Uh, yeah, keep making predictions and then judge your predictions. Uh, I'm gonna go regen master though. Or reinforce. No, I'll get regen master. As it should be. Thank you, my friend. It's always like this. Very well. They predict it and then they counter it and Yo! Bro? This is so useless. Yes. Burn in the light. Bird is there's treasure on the docks. Be quick and grab oh, it. Still got a globe. Worth it. Very well. The crusade marches on. Seems right. Good start. She should have autoed me once. No excuse to leave me. Uh... And it's so bad that people keep doing it. Four man bot. Every time, level 1 four-man bot only works at silver. Of course. Every time. And the Illidan jumping in by himself? <laughs> oh well. We're, we're only 12 coins and a level down. Ah, this is my time to act. I go. The glow. Thank you, my friend. Now you can have fun. Um, I think I'll go for eternal retaliation. Just to kind of deal with, just to kind of uh, say, all right, you know, there, I'm not going to be the focus target. That's going to be Illidan or Sonia or Rhaegar, if anything. And, uh, you know, I don't get laws of hope. I'll be less survivable, but who cares? I got regen master. Just keep running it down. It'll uh, it'll work eventually. The crusade marches on. Seems right. Down. 
The crusade calls. Your enemy has it out for you. <laughs> Fire, you blackguards! Burn in the light! Let us capture this mercenary camp. Um, I think I'll get Conviction, the movement speed. It can help me escape. In the light. Wills it. The light be damned. How does Grubby don't rage? I rage differently than most. People that watch the stream know that I'm not having the best time right now. More mana. You're dead, Welcome to the crew. <laughs> oh, he went back. I return. Yes. The crusade marches on. I think that's agreement. Very well. Is there still sharking around? Greetings, friend. By the light. Let's see what we got. Leap. Why not? Okay. Greetings. And do they friend. get stage dive? Great fight. Thanks for subbing, Snipedor and Mia7. Akarat wills it. I guess they get boss. Cower before Zakarum! Very well. Okay, obvious, obvious trolls are obvious. I gave you the benefit of the doubt at first. But the, I'm very successful at life. That one is that one's really good. No That was sick. Hey, who stole me back? 
I don't mind if someone says I'm very bad at the game or anything like this, but as soon as he starts playing the card, actually, I'm very successful at life and with my love and everything, but despite that, I still have a yawning, uh, a gaping cavern where I need to pick fights in an online chat room and talk about how good someone is. But I'm very happy at life. Obvious troll. Oh, it's obvious. Okay. Okay. Oh, this might hurt a bit. For them. <laughs> I mean, I had no faith in that fight, but as soon as Illidan went in, I was like, all right, I'm committed. I'm all in. <laughs> that made no sense. Falling sword was impactful, as was metamorphosis. Why not? You guys know what I'm gonna get at 16, right? With uh, eternal retaliation. It's a no-brainer. What's that sick man? I don't know. I got it at some point suddenly. It's a, uh, it's a uh, like a fell hand, a fell stalker or something. I thought you get it from World of Warcraft, but that's the Zirkling, isn't it? I mean, that doesn't make sense. That's the fell stalker. I don't know how I got this. Man, I love this uh, build on this map. I got falling sword. I'm fine. Yes, a great victory. We're not done yet. I'm fine. Make your peace quickly. No, I'm not fine. No, I am complete. Of course. I mean, the leap saved me so bad. <laughs> you just have to have faith. Like chaff before the wind. Glad it helped. Yeah, keep using your abilities. Why not? It's very helpful. Honestly, pretty impressive Illidan player. As much uh, flack as, as time mistakes for being too ham. It kind of comes with the territory as well, right? Why not? Kill this hero now. Guess we can just kind of siege the tower, but they are 16, the so guess not. He just got his master touch hype. This fort must be destroyed. Okay, let's finish this inhibitor. I might be dead now. I wasn't really ready to leap because... Uh, I mean, to Falling Star because I had no abilities left. But it still looks decent. Probably we have to go back. I think Medivh is getting too much value now. That's probably for the best. Uh-oh. K 
Okay, and we didn't get the keep. I return. Do we lose now? I mean, the they're gonna calls. try and get the boss. Let's befriend. Looks like your enemies all oh sh! Fire, you blackguard! Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Why not? The enemy's taking it to you. Yep. Well, they get the boss and then they get the pay and they actually get quite a lot from this. Unless they don't have enough coins. Well, they kind of do. Very well. I must retreat. We don't be working for free. I think it's okay. We defend the boss together. Yeah, yeah. They can pay and they will. And it will give them roughly the same structural state as we have right now. Unless we still stop them. No, I don't think so. You know what? Treasure I mean, tiny body. chance, I suppose, since Paladin ah. pay it. Oh, okay. So didn't want to pay and we're still a bit ahead in XP. The crusade marches on. With the heavens wrath fall. I can't I am complete. Make your peace quickly. Oh, that had to oh, oh my god! The ancestral very nearly hit. Very, very nearly. Another winning streak. So freaking close. But anyway, we're level 20 and I think we just won the game. The crusade marches on. The crusade calls. No showboating, no heaven's fury, I just get storm shield. Okay, a little bit of show about it, but only for damage on the car. Thanks, Buddha. Keep up the good work. Never tasted sweeter. <sighs> MVP. We won. Kirby attacked their spawn to make sure. Oh my God. Nice. Failing sword value. And regen master, not bad too, huh? We got some pretty nice damage in as well. Just with burning rage, lots of condemns. And it's not like, except for Savannah's, these three are not meant to have really high damage numbers when you go for a leap. Like, Illidan will always be middling. He'll never be top two. Except in the most extreme circumstances. It's his. Uh, it's the the impact he has on the team fight that really counts. Ariad Crater. Ah, nice. I think falling sword here was not just okay. It was one hundred percent the right choice. When you have leap and Illidan meta, the chaos. It creates the damage it does and the positioning that you gain with it seems to be worth so much more than a short stun would have done which will generally like hit like two heroes i think it was great uh why did you go for this spinning hammer talent i know what you're thinking it's bad the numbers are low right and you're right nafers it's a really bad talent it's just the only alternative for Johanna that does not get focused is the, uh, well, let's first put a presumption that she doesn't die. Let's, let's just put that out there. 
you're not afraid of dying because you've got high prio targets on your team that will die first. So you'll never die first. Impossible. Except that one time we did, but let's just put it out there as a presumption. This is healing, you don't need it. This one is move speed, it can help you be more aggressive. This one can slow the enemies. So there are two talents here that can compete with it that can potentially that can potentially be better aggressively, but the Holy Renewal is right out. So they are both mostly defensive. They can help to be aggressive, but they're mostly defensive. I hear and so you are left with uh, a talent that uh, gives you bonus damage. And so if you are in a composition where you feel like, despite probably never dying, mobility again. and repositioning is important, then maybe you'll do that. But uh, when you are on a team that also lacks to put out sustained damage, then Blessed Hammer can be the best. And at level four, I had Eternal Re Retaliation, which gives me more Ws, CDR. And as a result, I'll get more hammers. So it turns a pretty poor talent into slightly better. And that's the long and short of it. Here they are. Nice zoning anyway, the nuke. 